What is an offshore company? Years and even decades of the media telling us what to think about this have created a lot of misconceptions in the public. And the biggest problem I see with this is that so many honest, law-abiding entrepreneurs who just want to go where they're treated best are being dissuaded from moving their business offshore, keeping more of their own money because they've heard about the Panama Papers, because they've heard about the Paradise Papers, because somebody in their local Congress or Parliament or some politician said it's bad to go offshore. In this video, I'm going to clear up the misconceptions and give you the straight scoop on exactly what an offshore company is, what it can do for you, and who is using it. I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist, and an offshore company at its core is just a company. Now that seems obvious, but let me explain why that really matters. A company is a distinct legal entity. If someone does business with a company and they want to sue the company, they don't get to sue the owner, they have to sue the company. And the owner has a responsibility to separate him or herself from the company, the company's money. It's basically a separate legal person. And so there are companies where you live. People in the United States have LLCs, they have S-Corps, they have C-Corps, Australia, PTY Limiteds, whatever. You have all kinds of different corporate structures in countries all around the world for people to do business, whether they're very small businesses, one-man shows, or whether they're big multinational companies. And the offshore part is what trips people up, I think, where they think, ooh, offshore, like that sounds freaky. And again, it's that, that decades of the media, which doesn't understand. I read these articles and people are always making mistakes in the media. They're always mischaracterizing things. They don't really understand the full picture. And so because of that, people think, oh, offshore is kind of weird. But the reality is an offshore company is just a company in another country from where you operate. The reality is that if you live in the UK and you open up a US LLC to do business in the United States or wherever else, that's basically an offshore company. I mean, if you look at the way that things are handled on a tax level, I had a, a girl come to me recently and she had moved from the United States to New Zealand. And she set up a New Zealand company to do business where she was living and with her clients from all around the world. Now, that's not exactly a low tax country, New Zealand. They're not helping people squirrel their money away or hide out. But for the US and the IRS standards, that is an offshore company. And so, Offshore just means another country. And we've made a video on different reasons why you might want to go offshore. You can click here and find that video on YouTube. It's not always to run an active business. Some people want to own real estate or they have some kind of on the ground physical business that just happens to be in another country. Some people have multinational offices where they have offices in different countries and they need a corporation in each one. But for the average small business owner, for the average person that's a six or seven figure entrepreneur that would come to us here at Nomad Capitalist, the offshore company basically allows you to choose what's important for you in a company. It gives you control, puts you back in the driver's seat. So if I live in the United States and I don't want to pay 21% uh, corporate income tax and I'm doing business with people all around the world, I'm selling a product, I'm doing consulting, whatever my business is. I don't like what the US has to offer. An offshore company allows me to go somewhere else and look for a lower tax rate. People talk about that one. That's a common thing when, it, when we think about offshore companies. Uh, you can potentially get privacy where your name's not listed in everywhere in the public registry, although that's becoming less and less common. Maybe there's less paperwork to file. Maybe there's uh, easier access to taking deductions. For example, I have a, a friend who runs a Hong Kong company who takes much more liberal deductions in his company than he would ever be able to were he to open a company in the United States. And so you get to choose what's important to you. The reality is no one country should be able to own you. And so if there's a place they allow you to set up shop and pay zero tax, then that's okay. There's the UAE and many of the different uh, free zone or offshore companies in the UAE, many of the island countries like Nevis, like the Cayman Islands, um, Vanuatu. There are lots of different zero tax jurisdictions. There are also countries where you can go like Hong Kong and, and maybe it's low tax, maybe it's zero tax, the kind of onshore offshore hybrid that I think is 
going to become much more uh, common in years to come. But an offshore company is basically you taking back the power and getting to choose what the company that you do business through looks like. What's always fascinated me is that people put a lot more effort into looking up Yelp reviews for the Indian restaurant for tonight's dinner than they do where they're going to set up their business. Now, as we talk about here at Nomad Capitalist, and you can watch our other videos here, it's not just about where the company is. You don't just get to set up a, a company in Panama, pay no tax in Panama, and just go back to living in the United States. That's not how it works. It is more complicated than that. But if you are willing to do what it takes, if you're willing to follow the Nomad Capitalist approach, you can go where you're treated best and move your company into an offshore company where you get to shop for the things that are important to you, whether that's lower tax, whether that's ease of operations, lower forms, more privacy, less paperwork, lots of different options out there. Sometimes it's better to pay a little bit of tax and gain access to a tax treaty, depending on what kind of business you're running, where you're going to pay 1 or 2% in, let's say, Mauritius. And that's going to work well with other stuff you have going on. Other times, it's better just to pay zero tax. And you've got a simple company, you put it in Belize, you put it in Seychelles. So there are a lot of questions, but it's the question of what is an offshore company. The answer is it's just a company like any other where you get more choice over the terms. And I think that's important. I'm Andrew Henderson, and if you're looking for a way to legally reduce your taxes, build your freedom, and create wealth faster as a global citizen, then you've come to the right place. I want you to do three things right now. Number one, click the button to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to get notifications so you never miss a new video. Number two, get a copy of our number one best-selling book, Nomad Capitalist on Amazon, and learn all the dozens of benefits of our lifestyle. And number three, if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you want to put these strategies in place, Go to nomadcapitalist.com and find out how to get some help.